Hey YouTube, Dante Lewis here, and in this short video I'm going to show you a quick and efficient way of exporting your audio out of your Logic session. This will be beneficial in an instance where you sell a beat and the artist asks for the beat to be tracked out. This is a method on getting that done. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, Export, All Tracks as Audio Files, or you can hit Command Shift E. Now up here at the top, it'll tell you how many tracks are going to be bounced, and this correlates with how many tracks you have in your Logic session. I have eight in mine, so it says eight tracks to be bounced. Um, the next option is Save Format. You can choose between three, AIFF, WAVE, and Core Audio Format, Bit Depth, 8-bit, 16-bit, 24-bit, and 32-bit Float. Keep in mind, if you save anything over 24-bit, the save format will default as AIFF and you can't change it. The next option is multi-output software instruments. Say you were using Omnisphere, Contact, Battery, Miroslav, and you were using multiple outputs in those VSTs, it'll give you the option to select how many tracks, excuse me, how many files per track you want to be bounced out. Uh, you have the option to bypass effect plugins, Include the audio tail in your multi-output software instrument. Um, include volume and pan automation. And you also have the option to normalize. You can select between off, overload protection, or just leave it on. And you can also add the resulting files to your audio bin. So what I like to do for organizational purposes is click on my desktop and create a new folder so I can quickly access the files. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to name this YouTube example. And I hit create, click on the folder, then go ahead and hit save. Now the cool thing about bouncing your audio files on Logic, somehow they have the simple information encoded. So if you were to drop this in a DAW that can pick up that information the tempo information will be there. It's always a good idea to leave a note, um, what is it, a notepad uh, with the information, with especially with the tempo information, because you know that's an important question once you get somebody's files, even if it's a two track, what's the tempo? So I've always gotten the habit of leaving a note in the actual file that I'm zipping up or uploading to Dropbox or whatever with all the information that's needed especially the tempo information. So the next thing you want to do is go to your desktop. And here's the folder right here that we bounce the tracks to. Which is YouTube example, click on it. And you'll see your, your tracks there and you can drag and drop them into another instance of Logic so you can see how it, how it works. I don't want to do that in this video because I mean, you can do it yourself. Um, now, I wanted to show you guys this because maybe some of you are doing it the long and drawn out way and it's always important to enhance your workflow when you can so i thought this would be beneficial to someone out there so if you have any questions make sure you comment below if you have any suggestions on any videos or just any suggestions in general or questions in general about logic and i can help you out definitely leave a comment below and i will respond when i can um, but that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.